For the last three months, I have been training. I've been playing Victoria too. I've been doing crazy stuff. We took over basically all of Europe as Germany, and we destroyed everyone as Russia. And we also played China. All of this has been leading to this moment. Because today, on the SGT channel, we are going to restore what is maybe the greatest empire of all time, Rome. And we're going to start as Sardinia Piedmont. This might be one of the hardest things I've ever done on the channel. My name is Strategy Games Tyrant, and welcome to the Rome game. All right, Sardinia Piedmont. Starting the game, we're going to do Paza Vizizum. We need this because we got to be on top of the research game. Because if we start losing battles, it's over. So here's what we have to do to restore the Roman Empire. First things first, conquer Italy. Italy is our home territory. It has a lot of pops that we can integrate. Unfortunately, it's split between Austria and France at the moment. So we'll have to kick them out. Next, we will conquer every major city in Europe in order to show the other great powers who is boss. That requires us becoming great power, and then we have to own London, Paris, Madrid, Constantinople, Rome, of course, Tunis, Cairo, and Damascus. Oh, and Athens. After we have all those states, we can form Rome. Let's do this thing. Key to our conquest will be industry. So we're going to build factories in every single province. We're going to need land to raise troops. And that land is in Morocco, so we'll invade them, demand concession. All right, let's invade Morocco. We're sending all of our mobilized troops to Morocco, but this is how Romans would fight their war. They just hit up the wheat fields, recruit everybody into their army, and then send them halfway around the world. And that's what I'm doing, but better. Okay, we got a large colony in Northern Africa. This is so Roman, because th they got Carthage and uh, we got Morocco. Following in the footsteps of the past has never gone wrong. But yeah, this is a win. Now we can send the troops back to Europe. I don't really know if I like Morocco in uh, Sardinia Piedmont Blue, but somebody took the time to code in the renaming event for this land, so guess we got the Italian names in Morocco now. Also, we got money. Wouldn't be an Italian game without financial hardship. I wish there was a European Union that would come bail us out so we could actually pay for our military. Oh man, Manzini has been arrested. I'm pretty sure he helps us build Italy, so we should help him out. Hey, 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 we currently have enough score to become a great power. We will beat out Spain. Never mind, Spain invented something of note and has propelled itself past us. Isn't like there's supposed to be a Spanish Civil War or something that could maybe, uh... Make them not great power? Whatever. We will be doing the Statuo Albertino, which means that we will do some democracy and then get rid of liberal agitation, which is good, because I guess that means that um there won't be that much rebellion here. Throughout the game, one of the things we are going to have to fight a lot is rebellion, because we're going to be so far over the infamy limit that everybody's going to be at war with us, so we probably shouldn't be at war with ourselves. That would be, uh, how do you put it? Bad for business. We're back to number eight again. And interestingly enough, Spain is allied with Austria. I think this creates a, uh, a decent scenario for me to get ahead. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to form Italy. That'll give us a ton more territory and places to levy troops from. Then from there, we should be able to start mass conquering. But when we form Italy, uh, we're probably going to take some infamy. And I'd like to do some slow wars against France and Austria before I get into the death wars. So we're going to try and keep our infamy low. Also, if we could get great power now, that would be excellent. No more liberal revolution, baby. This might be enough to get us GP. I'm happy. Hey, we hit great power. That means we're free of France, which is great. We can nationalize the industry. They might get upset at us, but you know, not such a huge deal. I'm tired of being on the bottom of France. I want to be on top. Wait a minute. Okay, this should be pretty good though, because we can fund the military now, because we don't have to send massive checks to Paris. Uh-oh, France broke their alliance with me. Um, can, can I get another ally, please, Prussia? Uh, don't want France to declare war on me because I do own their cores, I think. Maybe. Pretty sure this territory goes back to France. 
Okay, we're going to do Fusion Perfetta, which will give us South Italian as an accepted culture. Nice. That'll set the stage for the invasion of the rest of Italy. Oh, man, we're writing the Italian National Anthem, which gives us prestige and presumably makes the Austrians quite upset. It's quite strange what makes people angry in this time period. Like in our current time period, you know, the U.S. and Russia are probably engaging in cyber warfare, and everybody's like, oh, that's not great. And, you know, but in this time period, it's like, oh, those Sardinia Piedmontians wrote a national anthem. Now we need to behead them in the streets. Sort of, you know, different issues. Also, how did the population get so liberal? Oh yes, a Sardinian intervention. We will intervene. You know it. I know it. And we are invading Austria. Let's roll. Don't really know why Lombardia just has a... Uh, 36,000 troops here that they don't really exist. Oh, th they're gone. It, it's okay. We are defeating Austria, which is good. The Republic of San Marco actually managed to peace out with the Austrians. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. And now we can peace out with Austria and get Lombardia. You know, that's acceptable. I'll take it. Nice win by, uh, what are we? Sardinia Piedmont. And we won the war, so we have shown the world that, that we're good, I guess. And we get, in exchange for that, uh, Tuscany and stuff. Ugh, France decided to declare war on the Roman Republic. And uh, now it, or it, now the Roman Republic is in the French sphere. Not cool. Ugh, I keep getting banned from the Papal States. Um, actually, the AI can't play these sphering minigames, so we, we can actually take uh, the Papal States from them. Wow, the Italian economy is tanking. I mean, I wish that there was the European Union to bail me out, but... Th th there's not. We're going to do the Expedition of the Thousands, which calls uh, everybody to Union, I think. Oh, yeah, it gives us war goals and everything. We're probably not going to be doing that, though. Then we can also appoint Cavour, which gives us a ton of buffs for not that many years, sadly. But wow, Prussia wants to ally the measly state of Sardinia Piedmont? Yes, please. I'm thinking that maybe now that we're stable, we should declare war on France because that's just that, that's the thing to do. So we're going to declare war, acquire state early Provence, and we'll call in our new ally, the Prussians. The Prussians are always up for joining a war against France, so this should go well, hopefully. You know, I've got to be more confident. This will go well. I mean, how could it not? The uh, France is at war with um, the great Russian Empire, so we have the upper hand. You know, the Russian Empire probably won't be great for long, but for now, they can help me against the French. All right, I think we defeated the French. They don't want to keep fighting. We will acquire Provence, and we will acquire this piece of Algeria that was looking tasty. Rename all of that stuff, and yeah, surprisingly fast war that we didn't even have to mobilize to win. Don't worry, boys. 24,000 artillery stack can't hurt you. It isn't real. I know I already said that the next sub goal would be Coakland at 20,000 subscribers, but I'm also not opposed to doing uh, artillery only at some point in Victoria too. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Aw, oh, shoot. Um, Austria has declared war on us to get something? A war of imperial restoration. Um, so I guess we just gotta smash Austria then, but not, not smash in the other connotation. Like, smash like destroy. I have no feelings for Austria. Yeah, you know I'll take reparations from the Austrian Empire. Okay, it is now time to click the Avanta Italia button, which will form Italy. Let's go, baby. Italy is here. Italy will be feared. That's our new motto. We can do stuff. We can build the Vesuvius Observatory. We can do whatever the heck this is. Valley of the Kings? Uh, yeah, I don't need that. The infamy is probably not worth here. We'll do the Law of Guarantees, which makes all of the countries we just conquered lose their cores. The Italian states gives us an infamy. I think it does something important, though. We can build a railroad. Sweet. Oh, and immediately we're running a massive deficit. I knew that southern Italy was not as wealthy as northern Italy, but I did not know that it would absolutely shred the economy. We can also do the Italian resurgence movement, which sounds super cool and gives us cores on Austria. W. So before we death war here, 
we're going to try and build as large of a treasury as possible. I'm looking at like five mil. That sounds good. Just so we don't ever run out of money. Because if we run out of money, our entire military is screwed. It's over. That's kind of worst case scenario. Okay, we're going to war with the Austrian Empire to liberate all of our cores. We will call in the one and only North German Confederation. Austria has a lot of friends. Call in the Spanish and the French. But it's fine. We'll beat them with the help of Germany. All right, Germany, take care of business, please. We're going to ally Belgium. Oh, but they won't join against the French. What a shame. Please, guys. Yeah, I don't need them. White peace, Bavaria, just because then the Germans can fight uh, more uh, important countries. Germany is killing it. And Spain is about to kill me. Uh-oh. Never thought my biggest enemy in this war would be Spain. They have a lot of troops. Italians in Paris. Not something you see every day. Unless you're playing Hoi 4 and building a D-Day wall. That Then you see Italians in, in Paris a lot. Ooh, Austria will give us peace. Perfect. We are going to get all of our cores back from them. And then from France, we will get one state. And we'll keep everything we've gained. Even though it gave us Dalmatia for some reason. We did not have cores on these. But I guess we do now. Did that whole thing without mobilizing, which hopefully uh, minimized the financial impact of the war. But it was still quite costly in terms of manpower. That's okay. The Italian states and renaming. Perfect. Got rid of the cores of Austria on some of this territory at least. So hopefully they won't come bother me. And yeah, that's a win if I've ever seen one. Now let's make uh, Egypt hate the UK. We also still haven't gone over the infamy limit, which is excellent. Save that for a later date. But that date is closer than it may appear. Hey, we got Pompeii, which gives us research points that I will put towards the great ancient Roman technology of breech-loaded rifles. So I think I agreed in a previous video, or maybe it never got uploaded, but there's this nation over here, Cokeland. If we hit 20,000 subscribers on the SGT channel, I will play the Cursed Nation of Cokeland. I'm pretty sure it can reform the Mongol Empire, though don't quote me on that. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see that, I guess press the like button. You're really going to make me go through that terrible experience? I guess you are. Ooh, an archaeological exhibition. Cool. Um, we'll take the minus infamy, I guess. The research points would have been good too, but I kind of can't snowball much more or everybody will just naval blockade me, the economy will break, and then I won't be able to support my troops and I'll die. That's kind of the thing that I'm trying to avoid here is death by a slow squeeze of Britain's navy. Okay, we're declaring war on Spain. We are going to take Catalonia. And then, yes, Belgium and Germany will join. This is such a strange coalition. And... And France joined against me. Oh, they will eventually learn their lesson. Not to mess with the great Italian slash Roman Empire. But for now, I, I, I must teach them another lesson by invading them. Let's go, Germany. Roll in, please. I'm going to peace out France. I'm going to give the Germans and Belgians war reparations, but not states. Germany is going to be strong enough as is. They do not need more. We got Rhone out of that deal. And then as far as Spain goes, yep, they will just allow us to have Catalonia. Nice. Not even over the infamy limit. And already we are completing our conquest of the Mediterranean. Okay, we're going to put the reactionary party in power. And then we can do conquest of the Adriatic, which gives me more cores. Pretty good. And then there's also restore our historical lands. Now this one also gives cores, but so it is good fortune that we have an expert diplomat that keeps our infamy low or lower. Okay, Germany's going to call us into war against France. Uh, yeah, sure. Me personally, I'm going to try and get a state out of this because why not? Okay, we will give the Germans Alsace-Lorraine and we will take for ourselves an additional state in the south. Oh, we turned France a different color. Now they have the weird flag. Pretty sure this is what I did when I played France, but I don't remember that well. Well, I guess we're going to war with Austria-Hungary because Germany said so. We're going to get more cores from Austria. Austria-Hungary now. Now, and we've got our lands back. Nice. Oh, Albania's independent. I'm Italy. I must have Albania. Also, um, Russia has Constantinople. Uh, that is like worst case scenario for me because it's one of the cities I need to form Rome. Ah, uh, go to war with Spain again. 
We call in Germany. They call in France. Germany will beat France. We will beat Spain and continue our conquest. Okay, we will take Vasconia. Ah, so close yet so far. Oh man, a crisis over Tibet? No, not interested. Nothing like some gambling revenue. Monte Carlo in Monaco is going to be so business focused. Okay, we're going to war again against Austria-Hungary. Man, the Germans just love invading Austria with me. We've done it like 10 times. We'll do it again, hopefully. I think now is as good of time as any to go over the infamy limit. We're turning a profit while having our troops funded, so let's do it. Okie dokie. The Germans are about to turn on us, but, you know, you can't always have all your friends. Oh, we already got International Pariah. We are a cool 30 points over the infamy limit, but that might hurt the economy a little bit. Okay, we are absolutely going to ruin Austria-Hungary with that peace deal. Oh my gosh, we won so much land. That's good, I think. Um... I'm worried now that Germany's going to declare war on me and send a billion troops through this northern part of my country, but basically what we'll do is just build up a massive army on the border and hope they don't try it. Anyway, that's a healthy amount of territory. Okay, we annexed a huge chunk of Spain. We annexed a ton of northern Africa. The whole northern Africa campaign boils down to I want to own enough territory that I can actually defend Morocco without losing all my troops every single war I fight down there. And I think we're one step closer now. Just gotta, of course, you know, send some troops down there. Rename all this territory we just conquered, baby. The more land we take, the more my literacy drops and the less research we're able to do. Sucks a little bit. Also, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. We're gonna do reactionary again, and then we can do reclaim our historical lands, which gives us more cores. And to be honest, I really should have uh, taken Corsica already. Don't know why I haven't done that. Greece has some of my cores, so I suppose we're going to war with them to liberate. This might be a more costly war than I expected, because I'm running out of Roman legions to fight with. Okay, we beat up Greece. We will proceed with peace. We'll keep everything we've gained. Basically, we just gained pretty much all the islands surrounding Greece. Gonna be a pain to keep all this, but it's progress. Progress. I'm not British. Progress. We're gonna build the Cornith Canal. Yes. Germany's back. These mountains are incredible and have helped me win so many wars against the Germans. Oh, France, you want in too. Wow, I didn't know you had it left in you to fight me. That's why uh, none of my troops are on your border. Ha ha. We will peace out the Germans because I, I don't want to be fighting them and the French. Just the French, please. Okay, we destroyed the French, hopefully for the last time. Actually, I think we have to take more territory. Peace them out, proceed keep everything we've gained. Wow. Huge annexation moment. Got Corsica, got all this territory. Give mining concessions. And overall, good war. Yes, Kingdom of Italy stands triumphant. We reset to 24 infamy. That's what you get, world powers. You tried to take me on and I took you out. Now we're going to reform Rome. There's nothing you can do about it, except maybe declare more hateful wars. You, you, you could do that, I guess. Right now, the streets of Rome must be full of the great spoils of many years of conquest. Glory. Slowly, the Italian culture is spreading through our conquered territory, but it, it very slowly. I mean, the most Italian state we've conquered is Tangiers, which is pretty much only Italian now. Okay, it's time to take Madrid from Castile. Sorry, Spain. I don't know what I'm talking about. That was an EU4 moment. Every minute I play this game, I feel brain cells leaving my body. So that's why I'm slurring my words and screwing stuff up. The new Rome will have women's suffrage. Okay, the Ottomans will give up the capital of Spain to me. Madrid is mine. Not a huge territorial concession, but it's one of the things I need to form Rome. So no complaints here. Now the UK, at some point I'll need to take London off them. And that will probably be the hardest war we fight this game. Right now, though, I have an itching for uh, Constantinople, which now has so many different types of pops in it, it's kind of ridiculous. We're going to take Athens from Greece. Oh, we're already over the infamy limit again. Bruh. No, I will not give Croatia autonomy. Who are these French patriots? 
patriots that keep rising up. The only patriots I know are those of the New England variety, and they throw a rock around and make millions of dollars. Who is Umberto Garone? That does not sound very French. The French patriot Luigi. I feel like these names are wrong. We're going to take Athens. Not Athens, Georgia. The real Athens. There we go. Athens in my pocket. Goodbye, Greece. I wish I could take the rest of you too, but I can't. Okay, that's one less city that I need to take. Hi, I'm the editor. This video is getting made into two parts because it was too long to fit into one. Um, the next part will be up soon.